What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be covering a hot topic on Hitman 3. So as you probably know, Hitman 3 is now available on the Epic Games Store and only on the Epic Games Store. Hitman 1 and 2 are available on Steam and only Hitman 1 is available on the Epic Games Store. Now, if you haven't heard already, IO Interactive released a media announcement as follows. We are continuing to work on a solution with our partners to allow PC gamers who own Hitman 1 or Hitman 2 to import locations from those games into Hitman 3 at no additional cost. Basically, you can play Hitman 1 maps in Hitman 2 and in Hitman 3, you can play both 1 and 2 maps. Now, because it's a change of store completely, it's going to be a bit of time before they get this feature working properly. Now, unfortunately, this announcement was released on January 17th, 2021, and it's January 22nd, 2021 at time of recording recording. In the future, this should be fixed. For now, we can only prepare for this process to work properly. In the meantime, it's a very good idea to copy across your progress, as whenever you do import progress from a previous game, all of your account progression currently will be wiped if you played Hitman 3 at all meaning we can import from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. And unfortunately, you can't import from 1 to 3. So to begin this very long video, let's go ahead and show you how you can link your IO Interactive account to all of these different games. There'll be a link in the description down below that'll take you across to account.ioy.dk. You'll simply need to log in with your IOI account. If you don't have an IOI account, simply log in with the platform that you own some of the games on. Then, if you don't already have an account, you'll be asked to create one and then log in with it. Then, when you do log in, you'll be taken across to account.ioi.dk once again, where you can see linked accounts. Currently, you can see I have my Steam account linked and my Epic Games account linked. The only reason the Epic Games account is linked and the games are showing down here is because I've launched up Hitman 3 and signed in. Then, I launched up Hitman 2 on Steam and signed in there. But to show you exactly what you need to do to get all of these games onto your account as well, I'll show you exactly what you need to do for Hitman 1. Because the menus are mostly the same, the process is almost exactly the same for all three games to get them onto your account. Now, of course, I own all three games, so I should see all three games on my IOI account page over here. You can only import games that you already own. Hypothetically, I should be able to play Hitman 2 maps in Hitman 3 as it's linked to my account. I can't play Hitman 1 maps as I haven't got the game linked. That is, of course, simply ignoring the fact that when you buy Hitman 3 with it, I think the first two weeks of release, you get all of the Hitman 1 maps for free. So how do we link our games with our IOI account? Well, unfortunately, if you haven't already done it, you'll need to go ahead and download the actual games on whatever platform you have them on. I have them on Steam, Hitman 1 and Hitman 2. Now, because I already have Hitman 2 linked, I won't show you this process, but instead I'll launch up Hitman 1 so that I can get it linked to my account. I'll simply change the options so it better suits my current setup. Now, unfortunately, from some places I've heard that when you do import levels from a previous game, you won't be able to play the previous game and also you need to do it from 1 to 2 to 3 if you own all of these games as you'll be wiping your progression progressively as you go higher. And there we go, now that we're getting into the main menu, assuming you're in online mode, You'll see this here. You'll see your username in the bottom right, online. All we have to do is scroll across to the very far right, click options, and then find the IOI account section. Here, simply enter your email and click submit. After doing this, you'll be asked to click a link sent to your email address. And if the page fails to load, give it a couple of minutes. In my experience, I had to wait about 10 minutes for the link to work properly. After confirming, you can click refresh here, and it simply says account linked. Now that your account is linked, if I refresh this page over here, you'll see registered products now includes Hitman. Awesome. Then I'll fire up Hitman 2. And because in the options section, IOI account, my account is linked here. Now that my Hitman 1 is linked to Hitman 2, we can progress to Hitman 3. At this point, if you want, you can go ahead and uninstall the previous games. If you'd like to, at this point, you can uninstall the previous games. However, at this current point in time, January 22nd, I'd only recommend uninstalling Hitman 1 if you'd like to play Hitman 2 still. As with how it's currently set up, moving maps from Hitman 2 to Hitman 3 is currently impossible if they're on different platforms, and obviously they are because Hitman 2 isn't available on the Epic Games Store. If we have a look at their official press release over here, you can see on PC we are continuing to work on a solution with our partners to allow PC players who own Hitman 1 or 2 to import locations from those games into Hitman 3 at no additional cost. And this post over here was released January 15th, 2021. 
Since then, if we head back to the news section, you'll see that nothing new has been released, so I can only assume that they haven't released an update to this, allowing you to do this. Now that we've correctly linked all of our games on our IOI account, all we have to do is sign in on Hitman 3, and eventually we should have access to all of the maps the same way that we do Hitman 1 in Hitman 2. Now, before we end off this video, how do we import progress into Hitman 3? Well, you can either launch up the game and click the progress transfer button on the main menu, or you can head across to the second link in the description down below. It'll take you across to profile.hitman.com slash carryover. From here, you can see that you can only move from one platform to the same platform as such. You can read through this page, click next, and you can see that I already have my Steam account linked. These accounts are connected to your IOI account and are eligible for progression carryover. Don't see an account that you want, you'll need to log out of your IOI account and then choose sign in with the account you'd like to link and then refresh this page. Then I'll select Steam by clicking the title at the very top and then I'll click next. Unfortunately, you can see that no location progress was found for my account. I didn't actually play too much of Hitman 2. And unfortunately for me, it's giving me this error over here. While I don't have progression to carry over from Hitman 2, I do actually own the game. After doing that, everything should be set up properly and your Hitman 1 and 2 progression should be in Hitman 3. Now I'd highly recommend not buying the Hitman 2 pass or even Hitman 1 pass if you own the game on Steam. Unless of course you want to play those maps now. If you already own them on PC, you won't need to buy them again. And to me, that's incredibly important as even though the passes are currently 80% off for these previous games, to import maps into here, I'd highly recommend waiting to get them for completely free. It's only about $10 for the Hitman 2 expansion, $25 or so dollars for the Hitman 2 Gold, and it's really cheap compared to buying those games straight up. But I would personally much rather receive them for free, and I'm happy to wait. Now, assuming that you've already moved your progression across, you should be able to play Hitman 3 as you'd like, and eventually when they get this sorted out, you'll be able to play the Hitman 2 maps. Assuming you bought it within the first two releases of launch of Hitman 3, you'll get the Hitman 1 maps for free as far as I know, regardless of whether you own Hitman 2 elsewhere. And of course, they did have it for free on the Epic Games Store a short while ago, so if you got it then, you should have it already. You may have to download and log into said game to get the account progression linked to your IOI account. As you can see, we can guarantee the players will not need to repurchase games until we roll that out in the coming weeks. The Hitman 1 Game of the Year Access Pass will be free to own for all PC players who pre-purchase or purchase Hitman 3 in the first 10 days after release. Seeming though it released on the 20th as far as I know, you should have until the 30th, which is the end of January. So of course, make sure that you do this as soon as possible if this interests you. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Hopefully I demystified some of the confusion that I definitely experienced while going through this whole process, and I do hope that they get the level progression copy working at some stage in the near future, as I'd really like to play the previous maps on Hitman 3. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!